You've done your research and written your paper. Now all you have left is your Works Cited page. It should be easy since the databases have citation generators that do the work for you. However, there are small mistakes these generators can make, so it's always best to check your citations. Here are the top 10 MLA 8 formatting errors you want to make sure you correct before handing in your assignment. Let's say this is the article you want for your paper, and you have copied the citation from the database and pasted it into your Works Cited page. Most of the formatting here is correct, but some elements of the citation need to be fixed. Common error number one. Is the author's name listed in last name, comma, first name format? If there are two authors, list the first author's name in last name, comma, first name format, and the second author's name in regular format, and connect the two with the word and. Error number three. If there are three or more authors, only list the first author and add a tell. We don't have to worry about that for this citation. Common error number four. Is the title of the book or journal italicized? Number five. Is the title of the article all in caps? If so, you're going to want to fix this. Nothing should be in all capitals. Only the major words, first word, and last word of the title should be capitalized. Common error number six. If this is a journal article, the volume number and issue number need to be included in the citation. The issue number is listed as NO period for number, as in the issue number. Number seven, if your source is found using an online library database, you will need to include the database's name and italicize it. This source was found using our database Academic OneFile, so we're going to need to include that and italicize it so that readers know which database we access the article from. Error number eight, if there is a plus sign, after the first page number only, you are going to have to find the entire page range of the article and include that. There are a few ways that you can find the entire page range of an article if the database does not include it in the citation. One way is to download a PDF version of the article. This will include all of the page numbers on the article itself. Another way is to go to Google Scholar and put in the title of the article there. This will usually provide you a link to the publisher's website, and from there you can find the page range to the specific issue. Or ask a librarian and we can find the page information for you. Error number nine. Is the DOI or the URL the last element of your citation? If not, it should be. Number 10. For MLA 8 format, make sure to take off the HTTPS information off any DOIs or URLs. The citation has been fixed and is now ready to turn in. Just be sure to check your Works Cited page for a few necessary formatting details. Alphabetize your Works Cited list by the first element of the citation. This is usually the author's last name, but it could be the title of a source if there is no author listed. Make sure your Works Cited page is double-spaced with the 12-point font you used in your paper. A safe bet is Times New Roman. And don't forget the hanging indent after the first line of each citation. The easiest way to create a hanging indent in Microsoft Word using a PC is to highlight the citation and hit Control T. The easiest way in a Mac is to highlight the citation and hit Command T. Lastly, make sure each citation ends with a period. This checklist can also be found on the library's website on the citation help page, and it's called Check Your Citations MLA. For more information or if you have any other questions about citations, you can ask a librarian. You can come to the reference desk while we're open, chat us, text us, or call us on the phone.